Hello and good afternoon, SPLS Pro, initiates of self and law. You have myself, David, in the house today, the 21st of February, 21, 2102, 2021, all the twos and the ones with a couple of zeros. Say hello, what, what? Good day, good evening, welcome. Maybe we need some light, I don't know, might help. Um, no, we'll go on like this. I just want to focus on the, the theme. I'm on. Must fall. <laughs> and uh, what I'd like to do today is go through um, some simple and effective ways of uh, securing property and moving it over into the private as a trust asset. This is not going to be a massive video. It is the first video of several. We're going to take them in small bite-sized chunks. Okay, that will be music to some of your shell likes. Good to see that one. Wow, there's a lion on the ring there. Um, Notice the absence of the other one that I had on yesterday, just for fun. Um, what I'm going to do is screen share, and I'm going to show you some documents and a letter, okay, um, to do with how I communicated with the agents, at the driver vehicle licensing agency. And um, we're going to later on talk about transfer of title and how you transfer and prove in a court of law. So we'll start at the beginning. Um, which would be helpful, yes, it would be helpful, very much so. Uh, at law, to prove that you have access, title rights to a property or some property, which will then become private property or better still, trust assets, what you would need to do is be able to prove um, at, in a court of law that you have the title rights to that property. So for land, it would be via a land deed, you know, a deed to the land, to a property, a house. Um, it would be to um, to uh, the, the deed title, title right, title. It's quite quite so we hold the title, get higher the opposite of night or don't take the mic or we've got faith, we don't need Bibles. These are the lingo, lyrics and things that you need to be able to, to, uh, to cognize. So a uh, house, deed, land, deed. What does the deed do? It proves that you have title right to property. Property comes with public liabilities and can be effectively, you know, um, served with a public order or taking control of goods. Goods, what are they? They go uh, to market to be sold. Man doesn't have goods. You're not commercially, publicly active in a private capacity. Be your person as chattel and in the public reference a little bit of church talk here, chattel, chattel, look at chattel mortgages, that's an interesting area, what, chattel mortgages, look at chattel itself, get yourself a bible dictionary, I'm going to upload one or two to the dot com resource vault and literature library very soon, get yourself an Oxford and Collins English dictionary reference, a Black's Law dictionary, so we've got bible, Collins, Oxford, Black's Law, that'll do for now, all right, and look at the different uh, implied meanings, definitions and terminology with these words, your public, um, legal and person, all right, and we're going from public legal person to private lawful WUMA, and we're using many areas as I've professed and given through our homegrown remedy, through the evidence of life, essence, incarnation, and um, what we've proclaimed through the um, foundation key competence level of our sovereign masters guild which is the bronze um, first level all right foundation we are now this video formulates the first video um, of the second silver level which is the uh, merit level and we're going to look at as I say property and um, the liabilities that come with public property of the chattel chattel flock and um, public legal person you know, and you go to a private lawful man, and then you'd look at how you would change the um, the legal possessory title right. So it will be with the triangle again, and um, at the top you always have the set law grantor. Okay, then you've got the trustee and the beneficiary in the bottom parts here. 
So uh, how do you prove in a court of law or to um, an agent, a debt collector, um, a bailiff, a sheriff, etc., that's coming to tackle property, to take property, how would you prove that that property is uh, a private trust asset and not classified as goods or private property that you are now no longer the owner, ownership, keepership, trusteeship. These are three boats that you need to be aware of, ownership, trusteeship, and keepership. I'm gonna expand on all this later, but this video is gonna be a short, concise, 10, 15 minute trip through um, what we, uh, and how we're gonna do it, what we're gonna do and how we're gonna do it. And then later on, when I get the material and articulate the script, so I don't waffle, and I don't splinter and digress. You will, we will walk and learn with me as um, as we go through it. I have a video to post uh, from YouTube that's got me talking to an agent at the DVLA, and um, I've got some documents to give you now to screen share and show you. Um, you know, a receipt, a handwritten receipt when you're not commercially active and you make. A private sale through, let's say, uh, Gumtree app or Facebook Marketplace or uh, Auto Trader or anywhere which is not a shop or a commercial business licensed outlet, and you go somewhere private and you make a private uh, acquisition, all right, from a private vendor, and you may uh, tender some legal uh, money, tender promises, credit, cash, um, you might transfer. Um, as you're going to see in a minute, some things that are not classified as cash or money, and you might transfer other um, valuable resources to gain access to property. Trade, levy, and barter comes into play. So um, you, when you do this, you might want to issue them um, on a bit of paper, let's say when you give some promises, that's what we have in the form of promises in England. I promise to pay the bearer on demand. So we have one, some of these given, and then you might want to use a bit of blank paper, get a pen and write um, the, the transfer and the sale. So that would be um, a handwritten bill of sale, BOS, bill of sale. And that would be governed and regulated under the 1882 bills of exchange. Now in America, the Commonwealth countries, we're an international dot com and a family trust. Um, we can say that you do have bills and you have orders. We're all in the army. You know, the Crown copyright uh, as such is, uh, is, is internationally transferable. And um, the management of uniform commercial codes is transferable. And also um, money transfer. You, in America, Commonwealth may call them Federal Reserve notes, the dollar dollar bills or the different types of dollars that are around the world that aren't American dollars, but they're still reserve notes. They come from a central bank. Um, that's our central bank and um, the Bank of England. Eh? And uh, that would be the, um, you know, the Federal Reserve equivalent, which is central bank reserve notes. Fiat currency, absolutely worthless bits of paper. So um, bills, that's a bill, that's a promise we know. I don't know if you can zoom in and see. Um, I promise to pay the bearer on the, uh, on the demand, the sum of, yes, uh, you can't see that too closely, um, too clearly, even, even though it's close up. So you would, uh, you would look at transfer of, uh, I am a seller and there is a buyer and somebody comes to see me and they want to buy a horsey. So I transfer the physical property as the seller to the buyer, and to prove that, um, on a bit of paper, we can record, um, it would say that a seller, and um, de details of horse, vehicle, car, van, property, because it's private, it's non-commercial, and then there would be a buyer, details at the bottom there, or it could be sideways, seller and buyer, and then the seller would list here, all the relevant details of what they're selling to, um, you know, buyer, what they're getting, and then there would be a signature from the seller with a date referenceable, a signature from the buyer, date referenceable, that would be kept by the seller, and then you duplicate that and give one to the buyer, um, and the buyer would then be able to give their, um, you know, whatever it is, credits, promises, um, or not, 
Um, it could be anything of value, which the buyer and the seller deem of value, or trade, levy and barter, but generally central bank reserve notes. And these are receipts, handwritten receipts, that lawfully they would be called a bill of sale. The bill of sale would be referenceable in a court of law under the bills of exchange or your local um, you know, land mass regulatory financial uh, architecture control. And that's how you would then be able to um, show that you have transferred uh, as a seller um, some property and privately done and to a, a, a buyer. I'll keep the word simple for now and we'll get technical later and we'll use all the correct terminology and build it up once you've been introduced. So we'll keep it very basic, very simple. And um, like I say later, I'll get you uh, kitted out in, um, in the later videos with all of the references applicable um, for the terminology, you know, that, that you'll need. And you have to bear with me because I have no references and it's coming straight out of the, uh, the coconuts here so i'm going to screen share and show you what that may look like and um, this is not to be shared outside of the trust all right spls pro there is no consent for that i would like to uh, just say that beforehand and um, any addresses that are on here i've checked already are old addresses so i'm allowed to uh, share these and know that if you go there you won't find i or uh, my queen all right, and um, yeah, I'd like you to, uh, there's nothing on here that wouldn't be able to be found in the public uh, domain, or if you was to uh, to look at the Iron Horse, such as, um, you know, registration on their chassis, um, and certain things like that, so um, dates, times, uh, names, uh, callings, estate, clan, family names, so I've got a bill of sale up here for the Turan, which is uh, trust property and not any goods. It's not public. It's private. And I'd like to uh, I'd like to screen share that with you, and um, we'll start that one for now. So there you see that there is um, in the top corner, looking at it, seller, and it says David. Yes, and it's got the family name there. Calling is what it is now, and legally they'd reference it as a name. We call it you know calling. If, um, full colon David, full colon, and then a lowercase David, you'll notice it's not a name. I've kept everything lowercase um, just because um, it looks like a child has written it. I know it's not supposed to look legal. It's not supposed to look commercial. I am dyslexic. I struggle. I struggle very much with writing and not mixing lower and uppercase. It's very hard for me. So I think I may have done three of these before it ended up being completely lowercase me not putting the uppercase in out of programming so we'll see the, the seller the calling the clan name the um, address at the time okay and then you've got moving across you've got the bill of sale the title of the instrument it's not a receipt would be a lawful instrument now conforming under the bills of exchange for england and wales not united kingdom not the united kingdom of great britain i'm not uh, <laughs> Know anything else there just England and Wales law um, but it's private so also it's lawful and it's um, it's, it's not legal at all it comes into law legal would be UK law would be England and Wales and this is private instrument okay it's got date authored thus day and the 1st of January 2018 private property information moving across you've got the buyer Anna Maria Wangle there's care of the uh, the address at the time Burton on trends, etc. England, no United Kingdom, no postcode. It's not done perfectly, but it's referenceable in a court of law and it's acknowledgeable it would be um, it would be valid and it would be able to be speak for itself. Alright, evidences. It's got the make, Volkswagen, model, Turan, 1.9 S90 brake horsepower, 40 brake horsepower, engines measured in horse power they have a tailpipe a tailgate they are relevant as horses hackney carriages carriage horse and carriage okay chassis there's a number there of the chassis one of a kind uniquely referenceable and identifiable by that chassis all right we leave the registration plate out of it it's not on this document at all the color indigo blue just so happens that uh, i ended up buying you know 
know, uh, an Indigo Blue uh, at the time. The channel that I have is Indigo. I didn't mean that to happen. It's just a synchronicity of sorts. Modifications, what else makes it uniquely identifiable other than its uniquely um, listed chassis number? Modifications, dents, damage, things like that. Okay, so we've got hydrogen on demand system. That's an Eco Motors brand. You've got damage to the front near side wing bumper where the scratches are. And in the text at the bottom, this private property has been sold and transferred as of this day. And I've written it again, as well as stamped it in, the, in a little official stamp that you can see, um, 1st of the Jan 2018. And it's been sold in the form of 10 pounds of potatoes. Okay, so not promises, not credits, not gold, not silver, not sweat equity, but 10 pounds of potatoes. I hereby attest that I, the seller of the private property described herein, and that the information is true and correct to the best of my belief. And then we've got the right thumbprint and David going across, which is the mark of man, an autograph on top of the mark of man, and also the mark would be a seal. So uh, it perhaps could be mark, seal, and then an autograph, or a seal mark, autograph. And then I've got mark, there's a thumb mark, and then there's an autograph, Van Maria, her name, you know, Dane. But it doesn't say by, it tells you it's an autograph. The word BY, and then the name, okay, rather than initials, initials would denote a signature by David, by Anna Maria, would be, you know, um, an autograph, and it does say autograph. That's as simple as it is. All right, um, you can make up and do your own. You don't have to copy this. You can find templates online and you can uh, you can rest assured that is, you know, basically how you would prove in a court of law that, you know, uh, compared to is it the DVLA and the DMV, Driver Motor Vehicle Agency, abroad, across the pond, America, Commonwealth, Canada, um, Australia, etc., and then, um, Driver Vehicle Licensing Agency over here. Um, I'll put a link into Lex Mercatoria. If you go to SPLS Pro Video Vol and Library, you will see amongst this video um, in the in the uh, selection there, Indiglo's most recent videos and Lex Mercatoria will tell you about the relationships within commercial um, law, commercial common law um, to do with agents, agency, Bailey, Baylor, property, things like that. Um, look at trust, trustee ship. Um, what did I say? I said keeper ship, trustee ship. There was another one at the beginning of which I've lost the thread on, so we'll leave it like that. You have the ship's desk and um, ownership now is it the other one. So you look and you go into grant or set law. I'm now the beneficiary of the trust, the private trust. That isn't a trust document as such, that's an instrument that proves that. Um, according to the driver vehicle licensing agency, I'd share another document with you, which you need to see now. And uh, this one will do nicely. According to the DVLA, they think that they are um, handing over with the uh, rights. They think they've got the rights to the title once you sign with your agency, whatever country you're in. I'll just finish this before I share. Um, you hand over, but it's a non-disclosed contract. And um, you don't know what you're doing. You don't knowingly do it, signing over um, from the pyramid set law grantor from that sale with the uh, funds and the you know the bill of uh, sale. And you register when you register. There is non-disclosed uh, title changes happening. That's an unconscionable constructed trust that you are entering into. As it's unconscionable, it's constructed. Construct is a term of trust talk, trust law. All right equity is moving the equity that you have within that property has been shifted to the agents and um, without your consent full disclosure and or prior knowledge um, through your own volition you volunteered and you signed for the person on the v5 registration document that clearly says and um, this document does not prove ownership all right you've gone from set law grantor to key poor ship and the ownership goes to the driver vehicle licensing agency at the point of that registration. So what we need to look at doing now is to recorrect those, uh, those trust titles. And to do that, you express the correct titles. 
Um, this will be bordering onto level two now, or video two, um, but I'll encapsulate this into this video and then we'll leave it there and we'll do another number two video um, for you to move on. And I'll shortly after this one, but all I'll do is we'll let you have a little look, preview, and then we'll end it, all right? And that's your bite size uh, nuggets for today. Screen share this document. And this has gone to the driver vehicle licensing agency. And Julie Leonard is the chief executive officer of the UK driving license or driving vehicle licensing agency. All right, at right, Swansea. And you've got David and Jeremy. To, this isn't done. Don't copy this. We'll give you templates that are going to be perfect to this is just uh, information purposes only. There's no legal advice here, as you know. It's a private chat, and um, we just want you to be able to, to cognize the type of language and the positions and the business moves that you may or may not want to consider when you express and correct titles to property and need to prove. Um, it's an old address, so don't worry again. It's the same as what was on the bill of sale that I've just shown you. Reference, you have put there DVLA, Notice of Private Title Change, um, under England and Wales and the United Kingdom, a, a company, a legal company, cannot hold incorrect, knowingly hold incorrect information on their systems. Um, you know, it's a crime. So if you inform them of something, they're obliged under regulatory. And we'll get into that later to update that. And if you've got proof that you've served them, then great, they must, you know, adhere to that. Reference of date, authored, okay. Universal Postal Union, recorded delivery number, that goes here. Um, we'll I'll explain that later when you take a letter to or a notice to the post office inside the envelope. As you notice, don't seal the envelope. The sticker that the lady puts or the man puts, the uh, postmasters, um, on the outside, we um, take a little strip off, which they can do quite easily. And we put that little strip there on the, uh, on the line after the delivery number. So it's referenced on the notice and on the envelope. The title for the document, notice of property title change and private sale. It's private and confidential, and you'll see the notice to agent, notice to principal, notice to principal, notice to agent, to Julie Leonard, the chief exec and uh, officer and agents. And then we were writing to inform we no longer give permission to share data, all right, under GDPR and etc give you notice we require this is the data subject access request you can screenshot this as you go through all right and reference this under the office of office of fair trading and financial conduct authority so we've got the OFT and the FCA regulations you know, yada 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 I'm currently hold data on my driver b5 keeper estate entity legal to the fiction personality straw man mr. David Jeremita all right, that's the data that requires amending with reference to the private property and titles obtained. I have a telephone call of an MP3 that um, I, I have with the uh, video that I've uploaded. You're gonna get a video link in this video description, wherever it is in the dot com in the forum. There'll be a link for you to listen to via YouTube chat that I had with the agent telling him verbally about this. And then after the telephone call to the agency, I sent this notice and I provided what I've just shown you copies of for them to keep and look at and uh, file and reference. So, um, yes, I'm very happy. I've got a lot more documents to show you regarding this. This is an end here, all right, but this is just for the beginning introduction. There's a trust title there, House of, and that would be, you know, and Jeremy to there, not exit it out, private trust, all right. Trust titles must be lowercase, they must be specific. Um, and I sent back, as uh, the agent told me, the current B5 documents for automobiles, pink Tigra registration there, and um, the blue Turan um, registration there, um, linked to the reg and the chassis. The chassis and the reg are linked together on the vehicle licensing agency. So the automobile is a private trust property in England and Wales, transferred using the 1882 bills, bill of sale. Um, that's what I've just shown you, the purple document, all right, under the Bill of Exchange, a Bill of Sale, governed under the Bills of Exchange Act. Mr. David Jeremy, who is no longer the legal trustee with the possessory title. Lady Anna Maria, 
is the owner at law and the grantor of the trust property. So the items, the assets, have gone from public property to private property and trust assets, you see. Um, you are not seeing all the documents to do because some of them are private. The trust um, is private, you know, and it can be done um, in many ways. You can have a, an express trust, which will stand and it's lawful, or you can do um, other types of trust that I'll show you later on. The private automobile is listed using unique chassis numbers and our assets in the private trust. You've got reg linked to chassis number and you've got a reg linked to chassis number there. And then there's a reference to the DVLA offices that I've called on the day. And you've got the voice recording that I've sent to them. Um, this is all via email to Julie Leonard. It was sent via email this. And she's got the, the full details of everything. She's got the bills of sale, the automobile was in question. Um, there was a letter sent, so that was sent hard copy as well, bills of sale for the two automobiles property. And they referenced them as vehicles. Etc. Um, and this is the type of thing that you would do um, to let them know. Email and um, hard copies through the post. We do not have and never have had a contract. You know, any permissions that they believe they may have had from me, the grantor and beneficiary, is hereby withdrawn, um, or from the grantor and me, the beneficiary. Um, if you believe you have power of attorney to act on the grantor's behalf, you are hereby fired. You know. Um, and any consent you believe you may have, tacit or otherwise, is hereby withdrawn. There are many trusts operating simultaneously um, at once, all right? many layers of trusts. Um, I am a principal, I am a beneficiary, I am uh, um, you know, uh, in mixed in many trusts at the time being with the DVLA privately, you know, so you must uh, appreciate it's not just one trust operating, there are trusts within trusts, and public trusts and private trusts, all right? So um, we'll look at this again a bit later, okay? Um, statement of truth there. And that's just a basic statement of truth there. You know, you can screenshot that and have a look at your leisure, all right? And pause the video, and read that. Number the pages so you can clearly see where we are. It's a good idea to always number pages of notices or staple or bind them together so then can't get lost. The reader knows what they're doing and how they're doing it. Um, the ink is black. That's just done for clarity. All right, so you can read it. It was actually done in purple when I sent it. Ink significance. Even though we're not bow people, we're not pirates, we're not attorneys of law, we're not solicitors. But still, um, it was done with purple and red, and red for the calling um, equivalent name. You know, the, um, an autograph mark. For the notice as well, right some right thumb, and mark, seal, by author, you see, there, and the reference, four pages, not massive, you know, it's a DSAR at the beginning, and um, data subject access request, and it's telling them not to share data, setting the trust relationships, you know, Correct. It's referencing a phone call that was made privately. It's giving them a little bit of a bill um, of five thousand pounds for any incursion whatsoever. That pound sign seems to have changed to an E, but um, I can soon sort that out. <laughs> there we go. We've got a statement of truth. Very simple. Four pages, all in all. A little bit of Latin there. And that's how you roll. This can be done on any continent, on any landmass that's got, um, you know, a legal system, a central bank. Stop sharing that. Back to me. And that's as simple as it is for your first video. All right. That's um, incorporating um, after a phone call to them to check out um, offices, agents. Uh, I plead innocent. You'll hear by the call in the video that I'm going to put in the link underneath this and um, any questions I want you to write in the uh, in the forum of splspro.com and um, this copy that's being premiered on YouTube via private and listed premiere or exclusively for Indiglo supporters only you can then on the premiere if you're here with me now well done thank you Bosch 
and um, you can put the comments in on the chat or you can write underneath um, the uh, box you know, once the premiere is finished your questions and comments and um, you can come and find us on the dot com also if you're a supporter of the dot com and if you're not um, and you are a supporter of Just Indie then you'll write your comment and I will get back to you in due um, time said course then as I wrote. I will fix this all in good time. I'm gonna get some cosmetics done so I look aesthetically not like a pirate and pleasing and um, I just want to say love and thanks to all this year um, the 21st you know, year of 2000 it's gonna be the last year of, um, of attacks misery of Babylon um, you know, that t-shirt isn't that a beaut okay Oh. It's going to be the last year, so I'll leave it there. Introduction, all right, a simple step by step process, and um, you've got a lot to reference and look at, and words to search, and dictionaries and languages to look at, positions, triangles. I'm going to get some um, of Richard Ansar's introductory videos to trust and linked into here for you. I want you to get familiar with all of that, and then we're going to meet back here in a week's time. I'm going to do part two for you, okay? So, double fist bump for the fam. <laughs> much love. Thank you very much. My honour and pleasure. Um, love and light. Ciao for now, okay?